title is phrases so when we talk about phrases what does it mean a phrase is a group of words without a subject and verb that functions in a sentence as one part of speech i hope you all have already covered part of speech in your syllabus so here are a few examples of phrases he is laughing at a joker she is making tea for the guests leaving behind the dog before the first test so these are the examples we'll be taking what is the meaning of phrases and what are the various types of phrases in next slides first one types of phrases phrase noun or phrasal noun a noun phrase consists of a noun and other related words usually modifiers and determiners which modify the noun it functions like a noun in a sentence for example he is wearing a nice red shirt as noun or uh, and object the boy with brown hair is laughing here also it is uh, a acting like as a noun but along with that it has uh, performed the duty of a subject how see the bold uh, letters the bold words as you can see the boy with brown hair now who is with brown hair the boy hence if we eliminate the preposition with then the meaning of the noun will change altogether the noun here is the boy and brown hair all these are noun independently but when we may when we talk about a noun phrase we add all the words together and it makes a phrasal noun which means a different one a man on the roof was shouting a sentence can also contain more noun phrases the girl with blue eyes bought a beautiful chair so as many noun carry a fr uh, carry a phrase along with it it becomes a phrasal noun for example group of words the girl with blue eyes lot of nouns are there combined with an uh, combined combined with an with a preposition bought a here we have an article a determiner earlier we have already discussed about modifiers and determiners right so here also they have used it next one is verb phrase so what does a verb phrase mean comprises a main verb plus one or more helping verbs examples he is eating an apple she has finished her work you should study for the exam she has been sleeping for 2 hours these are verb phrases so verb phrases comprises a main verb plus one or more helping verbs in first one we have got two verbs how is is a helping verb and eat is main verb in the next sentence has finished these two are verbs you should study has sleep these two are verbs all right next one is prepositional phrases a prepositional phrase consists of a preposition object of preposition noun or pronoun and may also consist of other modifiers so when we talk about prepositional phrases it will cover prepositions maybe as a object of preposition or may also consist of other modifiers for example a boy on the roof is singing a song here it is acting as an adjective a boy on the roof means it is not a boy who is sitting here or who is sitting in the sofa or who is watching the television we are talking about a particular boy who is actually on the roof a boy on the roof is singing a song that is why it becomes an adjective 
and why we can consider it a prepositional phrase because see the group of words on is a preposition the is a determiner and roof is a noun second example the man in the room is our teacher now in the room again same it is acting as an adjective she is shouting in a loud voice he always behaves in a good manner she is shouting in a loud voice adverb what is an adverb something a word or a group of words which add meaning to the verb so here we have a verb which is shout and it is adding what is adding to its meaning in a loud voice she is shouting in a loud voice in the same manner the next one he always behaves in a good manner last but not the least we talk about adjective phrase an adjective phrase is a group of words that functions like an adjective in a sentence it consists of adjectives modifier and any word that modifies a noun or pronoun example he is wearing a nice red shirt so when we talk about adjective phrase it is more or less like prepositional it is more or less like prepositional phrases but when we talk about this particularly adjective so here we are adding something more adding some more word or modifier to the adjective for example in this first sentence he is wearing a nice red shirt if we say he is wearing a red shirt it will act like the same adjective phrase but if we have added a nice red shirt means we have added something uh, specific to the uh, red shirt that it is a nice red shirt the girl with brown hair is singing a song he gave me a glass full of water a boy from america won the race so here in these sentences we have got the modifiers uh, for the adjective phrase and that is why it comes under this phrases so here we end our topic and i will see you in the next lecture thank you very much students i hope it must uh, it must make your lecture easier and it will make you Uh, more comfortable in understanding this topic thank you very much